This is going to be a really interesting one. This is the uh, the Niagara Valley Tract, the drone video for the Niagara Valley Tract, and this is uh, really a special tract here. Uh, direct frontage on the Niagara River, um, good county road frontage, long private driveway. We pulled off the county road. That's the driveway. We pulled off the county road several hundred feet off, uh, and the truck is parked back there. And I guess we're just going to shoot up in the air and have a look at this. Super excited about this one. Uh, we were thrilled to get this property. We've never had anything with frontage on the uh, Niagara River. We had a couple properties with frontage on the Little Niagara River. Uh, but this is the big Niagara. This is just downstream, downriver from Bennett Springs State Park, which is uh, very well known for fishing, trout fishing, uh, floating, kayaking, canoeing. That's the county road on the north side there. That is Box Hollow Drive. And I think when we started this video, we just went way, way up to try to get a good overview of it. So the property is what you see south on the bottom side, south side of that county road. The driveway comes off, uh, obviously off the county road, it's level back to the site where the truck is parked. We have a huge level area there with big mature timber, it's just beautiful. So now we'll look toward the south and then toward the southeast where we'll see the river. I'm not sure if we can see the river from this angle, but we are looking over the property. There's the river. There's the Niagara River. So this does have direct actual river frontage. This is not a shared easement. This is actual frontage on the Niagara. Uh, so pretty pretty good deal if you've ever uh, um, priced river frontage on the Niagara. First of all, it's extremely hard to find. And if it does hit the market, uh, the prices are uh, astronomical and they sell immediately. Uh, it's just really tough to get something on, on the Niagara River. Um, if you're a fisherman or, or into floating or uh, kayaking, you definitely want to check it out. You can Google Bennett Springs State Park. Uh, so now we're looking southerly over the property and toward the river. And also this is very close to, uh, I believe it's the Barclay Conservation Area, which is a, a state conservation area right on the Niagara River. That's just down the road. So you can Google that as well if you'd like. I think it's B-A-R-C-L-A-Y. So we're, we're basically facing southerly. Uh, so everything you see north, well, it's not north, it's south, <laughs> but we're, we're backwards. Everything on the top of the screen, on top of the county road is on the property. And I believe we do fly over to the river in a moment here. This is a really long video. This is a nine minute video. Um, but it's a large property and we wanted to get to the river frontage. We have not fully explore, explored this property at all where you see the truck parked um, and the area around that is basically all we've seen. We did have a topo map. Um, definitely check out the topo maps. Uh, looks like a uh, quite a trek down to the river. I'm not aware of any trails so until you, uh, until you do a trail for four-wheeler or side-by-side -side or a Jeep trail, uh, you'd, be, you'd be going on foot to the water. So now we're right over the truck. As we pan off to the south, over on the left you can see uh, a natural glade area. That's directly on the property. Really cool um, natural Ozark glade. And I believe we, we go way down and get right over that and get a good look at that in a minute or two here. So yeah, we're dropping back down to get a closer look at this property. We like to initially get way up in the air and kind of do the, do the whole overview. Um, but then honestly, I prefer to keep it as close to tree level as possible to really look at the, uh, the tree cover, look at the terrain. We're coming in on that natural glade. So that hasn't been hasn't been logged, hasn't been cleared by man. That's a natural glade area. Short native grass, 
really, really cool. You'll have uh, certain uh, certain wildlife and certain creatures that only exist in the Ozark glades. So pretty, pretty cool deal. That could be a trail you see going across there, a deer trail. I'm not sure. Without being on the ground level and really checking it out, it's hard to say. Large glade area. Might be a, a pretty spot uh, for a campsite or possibly to build a home or a cabin on that glade. Incredible views from the property. If some of the smaller timber were thinned out, um, you'd have some great views from up uh, by where the truck is parked. Trees of all different sizes, but we saw quite a bit of mature timber in that large flat area on the north side of the property and northwest side of the property. So now we're slowly moving east. And I do believe we go all the way to the to the river. We've got about three minutes left, and I believe we end up at the river here. So from the glade, the property slopes down into a, uh, a valley area. The topo map indicates um, a creek in that valley. Without seeing it with our own eyes, we can't say whether there is a creek or not. It could just be a wet weather creek that flows after it rains. So right now we're basically over the valley area. This is where it rises up again, which means we're getting close to the river. And it's kind of a, a partial glade. Generally, in a, a, a true glade won't have uh, um, any hardwood trees. It would just have some cedar trees. And I see a few hardwoods on that. And obviously you can see the river there. We've only got two minutes left here. I really do hope we get to the water. I believe we do. Getting closer here. Boy, would that be a building site. That last uh, glade uh, right up by the river, that would be a gorgeous place for a cabin or a campsite. Now getting to it could be an issue. You might have to go to your, uh, your cabin or your campsite on foot. But look at that river view. River view that you would have. Oh, that's pretty. I see pine trees. We saw mostly hardwood trees up by the road, but here I'm seeing a few pine trees. Okay, and there's the Niagara River. So from that last glade area, it looks like uh, fairly steep down to the water. But it is true river frontage. I don't have the, the measurement right in front of me. You can look at the, the maps on the listing for that. Um, but this is, this is the real deal. Uh, beautiful sandbar there. Um, it's a major river, so uh, every year as the water goes up and comes down, the sandbars will change, the, the swimming holes will change. But excellent fishing, excellent canoeing, excellent kayaking. Like I said, just just a few, few miles uh, down river from Bennett Springs State Park, so phenomenal, phenomenal location. I'm hoping I look... Uh, the other direction to, to take a look at that river frontage as well and we're just about out of time shoot now we're looking back to the west really special property so you can check out our website at instantacres.com to see if this is still available we'd be happy to answer any questions you have and there there we're looking uh, down river property on the right of course wow that's a great one that's the tract at Niangua Landing in Dallas County, Missouri.